Welcome back, everybody, to Oldsmar, Florida, a great place to visit and ride. Let's hear from Kevin Smith with the St. Pete's Clearwater Sports Commission. Well, this is a great event for our area simply because we have a lot of tourists coming in here. We're, we're a tourism-based area. So this type of event gives us an opportunity to showcase what our destination is and what we can do here. Oldsmar is probably the most technical track I've seen on the, on the national circuit in a long time. You know, right out of the gate, you know, you have a technical first jump. You know, I think it's really going to separate the technical riders from the power riders here this weekend. It's big, it's technical. It's one of the only Category 3s in America in North America, actually. They've done a great job here in Oldsmar. This, this track is first rate. A lot of parents are coming out here on the weekends and taking care of this track and volunteering their own time to make sure that the kids have a great place to come out and perform. BMX tracks are definitely not a one-man show, and it takes a lot of people to put this together. Well, talk about a lot. We're talking about a lot of speed in the junior women main event on the gate. Stars of tomorrow, Craig. Some of these girls are, in fact, possible chances to be in the next Olympics next year. Brooke Crane, horror rock star, ranked number two in the world in the junior women's category. She's, uh, she's on fire right now, and just watch how good she rides a bike. Absolutely. One of the most amazing riders that I've seen in a long time. Keep it on Taylor Walcott, Danny George, also in there, but it looks like lane one, Brooke Crane, horror rock star. She's going to pick it up and she's going to take the lead, Craig. Yeah, well, it's Danny George that has a great start down the first straight as well, but it is Brooke Crane coming out of turn one. Watch Brooke the way she goes over the jumps, takes them in the air, good backside into the second turn, rails it. She's taking off and she's looking like she wants to get that win, Craig. Well, the ability for her to jump these big jumps is huge because when we get to the supercross tracks, there's no doubt you have to jump everything on the track. Absolutely, and Brooke definitely likes to jump. In fact, she's so good, Craig, I wouldn't discourage her from not being in the U.S. Olympic women's team next year. Well, you know, when she gets a little bit older, a little bit stronger, she is going to be a force to reckon with. So it is Brooke Crane coming in with the big win today. Danny George coming in second. Let's go back and see how she got the job done. As you can see, Craig, that inside gate really is a full advantage in a track like this. Brooke's got the inside. She grabs an extra couple pedals going into that first turn and uh, gives her the whole shot and a clear path for her to do her stuff down the second straight, which yep. means uh, jump in the jumps. Yeah, Brooke Crane booming that step jump, got down that second streak. Great. Well, there she is, insane Brooke Crane, your victor for the day on the top step of the podium, followed by Danny George and Taylor Walcott. The future of elite women is in good hands. And we caught up with the big winner today, Brooke Crane. It was good. I wasn't really sure on the first straight. Uh, Danny was pretty damn close to me, but uh, it was good. Just stuck it out, put my elbows up in the first turn, and just ride, ride my race. The scary thing about Brooke Crane is that she's so young, she's only going to get better. Now we'll talk about better. Elite semi number one is in the gate, Dale, and it is stacked. Absolutely. Damien Goodet, Sam Willoughby, Hoffman, Upshaw, Donnie Robinson, the two French guys, Dede and Andre, and don't forget, Tori Nyag out of Canada. He's on a roll right now, making all the main events. Well, the gate is down, and this is when it counts. The semifinal top four make it to the main event. It's the Frenchman once again, but Sam Willoughby, no, it's the French guy in the lead. Yeah, so followed by Sam Willoughby in second place. That's tough. If you beat Sam to the first turn, you're doing something right. Absolutely. World number three out in the lead is George today. Sam Willoughby, his teammate, Tori Nyag, looks in third. Looks like Donnie Robinson's on the bubble, but Donnie drops back to fourth or fifth place. Around the last turn, it looks like the other French guy, Damien Godet, in fourth place. But keep an eye on Andre down the last straight. Andre getting down nice and smooth. Noah Nyhog in for second place. But Andre catching his French teammate, Damien Gennet, down that straight, making the fourth spot. He's through the main event, Craig. Let's see how today got that top spot. Totally took advantage of that inside, Craig. But you know what? He's not world number three for nothing. To beat Sam Willoughby down the first straight, you got to be a big hitter. Absolutely. Willoughby on top right now of the sport. But today showing he is a close second. If you keep an eye on Sylvain Andre here, he's in fifth place, just charges that last rhythm section all the way. French guy Damien Gaudet thinks he's in fourth place, but Andre gets him on the line and goes through to the main event. Well, the day is on top in that semi, looking for a fast lap time for lane choice, followed by Tori Nyhawk, Sam Willoughby, and Sylvan Andre sneaks in past his French teammate. Before we head to semi-final number two, let's hear from Barry Nobles. This starting hill is definitely a lot flatter. Our Supercross series are a three-story tall starting hill and a lot steeper. Here we're coming off it's almost as flat as the street we're out there training and doing sprints on. So you definitely need a lot of strength to get to the bottom of the hill and it's not that tall. So you're actually not gaining as much speed as we would on Supercross Hill. So you definitely need to have the horsepower in your legs just to get it going and get in front of the guy next to you. 
Yeah, we'll talk about horsepower in the legs. This gate right here has some horses and some ponies. Absolutely. Josh Myers, a local guy. Kyle Bennett, multi-world champion. Thomas Hammond, French champion. The hot shot, Corbin Chirac, and the guy on fire right now. Lane one, speed bicycles, Mark Willers. And the gate is down, and Willers gets a pop from lane one, and so does Kyle Bennett in the middle. Kyle Bennett coming into second place, but Chirac dies on the inside, pushes Bennett out. Oh, Bennett's on Bennett the track. Bennett is out. He's off the track. Tyler Brown goes in the second. Chirac's in third. Thomas Hammond in fourth, and it looks like Myers on fifth place looking to get in. Yeah, but Willers out front and looking smooth from New Zealand. Awfully fast today. New Zealand Olympian, Mark Willers in the lead. Corbin Chirac, Tyler Brown, Josh Myers trying to get in there, but it looks like the French guy, Thomas Homan, is going to get the full spot and go through to the main. Bad luck for Kyle Bennett, the American. He's out, but good luck for this guy right here, Mark Willers. Only thing to do now is take a look at his time to see if he has lane choice for the main event. But look at his start. I think he's going to get that lane choice, Craig. As you can see, he's that 43. He's a spinner. Gets to the first jump pretty fast. Inside. Always ends up with a good chance of getting that whole shot. You see here, Bennett's cruising into second place, but Sherrard dies on the inside and pushes Bennett out. I seem to be squeaking in a little extra pedal before the first jump. I think the 43's paying off. So uh, I'm not too sure how many people are pedaling the bottom of that ramp as well. I'm just hoping it was good enough for the uh, lane choice. I think it's going to come down to that. Dode seems to be picking one as well, which is my lane, so claim it. Well, Mark, you can claim it because you set the fastest time. Pick away, buddy. Corbin Shiraz in second, followed by Tyler Brown, and Thomas Hamon gets into that main event. Well, stick around, ladies and gentlemen, because the Elite Men's Final is ready and points are on the line. Dale, you want to race in this? Ten years ago, Craig, for sure. Right now, I'm happy to watch.